Good afternoon. In this video, I want to briefly explain why the uh, the idea that there could be a faith work system uh, set up anytime after the fall uh, and through uh, through the second coming in the millennium, why that would be impossible. It violates the law of identity. Uh, the law of identity, the logical law of identity, is simply is something is uh, what it is or it isn't, uh, and. Uh, uh, Paul uh, makes it very clear what grace is, and uh, the fact is it can't be united with works. It is one or the other. Uh, grace is uh, something that God does for us, not something we earn or deserve. That's what works is. Uh, works are. So, 11.6, if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. That's that simple. It's just that simple. Once it's either going to be an all grace system where God is doing everything and man is uh, accessing that grace by faith. Why is faith? Because faith is non meritorious. The one who has the faith is, doesn't get any credit for the faith. The one doing the work, who is God, he gets the credit. The one who has the faith gets the benefit. That's what the grace is. You can't mix them. You can't get put a system in there and say that's going to be partial works and partial partial great grace. One is is going to be one or the other. Before the fall, it was all works. Why? Because the garden was perfect. Grace wasn't needed. After the fall came in came grace in, and God hasn't stopped using grace ever since. That's why I have Hebrews 11, and you see how the Old Testament saints uh, they how they functioned and did the great works they did was by faith. These faith works guys, they all want to get in there and try to uh, uh, make uh, uh, the issue of that. Whatever, well, you know, faith is only mentioned twice in the Old Testament. And, uh, well, Le Hebrews 11 tells exactly how these guys walked. It was by faith. Their works showed their faith. It's the same thing being a tribulation. Their walk is going to, their, their works are going to uh, uh, show their faith. And that faith is accessing grace. And that's the way it has to be. So 11.6, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if, be, but if it be of works, then there's no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. It's more, either one or the other. That's why these guys, when they have this faith work system, you really never get to pin them down on it. Because they understand it's either got to be one or the other. But they kind of, they, 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 they want to they just slide by it and ignore the fact that Paul is very, a very logical thinker. And he's telling the Jews, the Jews could either uh, uh, go by one system or the other. And they were depending on works. They thought that uh, they didn't need grace. And uh, Paul is saying, no, you better, you, you got to throw out the works and you better uh, depend on the grace. That's how Abraham was saved. That's how David was saved. Uh, and that was, the, uh, by, was by faith alone. Now, of course, what we're seeing now also uh, is this, this idiotic faith work system now bleeding into the New Testament where people are rejecting faith alone. And bringing in the idea of, uh, of other conditions along with faith. This is the result. This is what the consequences of this type of sloppy thinking uh, uh, results in. Uh, but when when people ask and say, "Well, you know," uh, and they look at the uh, dispensations, you start with a premise. You start with a, a clear scripture that lays out exactly uh, the uh, that can't be uh, a fact that can't be con uh, uh, argued against. Once you start with that. That, that true premise, that that grace has to be all grace and works have to have all or works has to be all works. Then you move from that. So uh, then you take the more difficult scriptures, but but they must be interpreted in the light of that fact. What grace is by its identity, grace is the unconditional, unmerited favor of God. Unmerited. That means you can't earn it. You can't deserve it. That's what grace is in any dispensation. And these guys admit grace started in Genesis, uh, Genesis 3 right through the uh, through Revelation. All of a, but all of a sudden they want to impose some works in there. Uh, and uh, put in, well, this is a faith work system. And uh, Abraham had to use his faith. He had to show the right kinds of faith uh, and, uh, before the law. And then after the law, you know, you had to keep this, these, these, uh, the, the law in order to you know, be saved. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and that, this is the system. That, baloney. Baloney. It's either faith and works. I mean, it's either faith, it's either uh, a grace, total grace, or total works. It's, it's never, it can never be mixed. It's the oil and water. 
And so that's why, you know, there's not even an issue of looking at the issue of faith and works as being legitimate. And that's why the, 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 these guys put this up and they try to, to uh, defend this nonsense. You see the double talk. You see the nonsense uh, that they've got to throw out and the dogmatism. Then they'll bring out and say, well, see, no one is saved in the Old Testament the way, uh, exactly, you know, the same way you know, you're saved in the New Testament. We know that. We know the differences in New Testament salvation, the Old Testament salvation. We know, understand the differences uh, that resulted in that, and different consequences. Uh, but the way, the method, is always one method. It always has to be uh, uh, by by faith alone, because it has to be of grace. You can't have any works, because then it wouldn't be grace. And so you can't mix the two. So a faith work system. Has a, is, is itself a contradiction. It can't exist. You're either going to have an all work system like it was before the fall, and in the angelic realm, when the uh, one thirty angels fell, they were under a uh, non grace system. It was total works. They had to make a decision, and that decision locked them in, and that was it. Uh, no grace entered. Grace entered in with the fall of man. But once grace entered in, works were done. Man was not going to earn or deserve anything. Uh, in any dispensation. Uh, so this is the lie that these guys have to put out in order to defend a total illogical, unbiblical, uh, uh, God-rejecting, uh, grace-rejecting system. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, they've got to, uh, 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 you know, play our word games and uh, say this is happening here and this this is really this and this is really not that. And faith is, you know, they have proved their faith and James has shown Abraham wasn't justified until uh, until uh, he, he offered up Isaac, uh, when he has God's imputed righteousness in him, God is not going to justify him. That is rejection of divine attributes. God must justify you when He sees His own righteousness in you. In you, uh, what what Abraham was just was the, was justified before men, uh, which glorified God. But the fact is, when you have you have God's imputed righteousness in you, God must justify you because He sees perfection in you, his perfection. So this is the logical uh, basis of the uh, rejection of the faith works. Uh, it must be rejected by anyone who uh, reads clear scripture. And uh, so this is a system that uh, these guys developed. And uh, it gets more, when you read, read through it and you see the, the games they play, what they've got to do is instead of bread herrings, reject false views on understanding the Old Testament salvation, uh, who, who see no differences uh, in the New Testament salvation, which of course there are. But the basis of it, the basis of all salvation, is grace through faith, and never works, can't be, because faith, grace and works cannot be mixed. Amen, thank you.